When simply going for a walk becomes painful, it's best to find out why. Just ask Thomas Feifelski. I was just having trouble walking. How uh, old was this? About six years. Was it something that gradually developed? or was Yes, it, it gradually developed. I would like to take a walk around the lake, which is about three miles, a little over three miles. That's in the middle of our subdivision. And then I found it getting harder and harder. So I went, uh, I saw this ad in the paper. I didn't know what the problem was, but they said, you got pains like that, you got PAD. PAD, or peripheral artery disease, has long flown under the radar, with coronary artery disease getting the most attention medically, but not here at the Detroit Medical Center. Dr. Dallaire Gardy is an internationally renowned cardiac and endovascular specialist. If you have disease in the coronary arteries, there's more than 40% chance you might have it everywhere else in your body, including the lower extremities, upper extremities, in your carotid, and so on. That's when we say peripheral, because you have the arteries in the center, which is around the heart, yes. and then you have the arterial circulation that branch out everywhere to your hands, to your arms, to get the blood supply to all these tissues. So when we say peripheral, we're pertaining or uh, alluding to these arteries and these vascular beds. Now, when I say disease, now, as you know, multiple risk factors we have end up having a cholesterol plaque build up on, under the arterial wall. Yes. When that happens, these, uh, these plaques will create a blockage in these arteries. When that blockage happens, then it is called peripheral arterial disease. If you assume that this is an artery, a specimen of the artery that was a slide in a half and caught horizontally this way too, and this is how the artery should be open and clear. The, there are multiple layers that surround the artery. They should be as thin as this. Now, as time goes by and as cholesterol deposits itself underneath the layers of the artery, you'll see this little bump in here, which is specifically cholesterol, let's say, and the cholesterol could be uh, hard, could be soft, it depends on which stage you catch it. And over time, and if you did not correct your risk factor, it will progress to this point and even worse, blocking the lumen of the artery. This and more is what was going on with Thomas Feifelski. He had visited one doctor already and was on his way to a second when something about the treatment option just didn't seem right. And after thorough research on the web, including several hospitals and medical centers, he came to an important conclusion. Harper was the only one that gave you a good critique on the doctors themselves. I mean, the other ones would say, we have Dr. Joe Blow here, and he's an artery surgeon. But when we went to Harper, it told us all the things that the doctors were accredited in, and we picked Dr. Gardy. I think it was absolutely great that we selected him. And I do think the man saved my life. Treatment for peripheral angiogram begins with an assessment of all the arteries. A tiny incision is made, usually in the groin, and a catheter is guided through the opening and into the arteries. A dye is injected which allows the arteries to be seen. The arteries take on the dark color of the dye. Any white portions of the arteries indicate a blockage. Right here. You see how the artery is getting small and ti tiny? Because there's some disease in it right here. There are methods of clearing the blockage. The most common being the use of a laser that uses heat to rupture the cells that make up the blockage. As this happens, they change to byproducts including oxygen, water, carbon dioxide, and other products that evaporate and dissolve in circulation. Okay, you see this artery here that was 99% blocked right here? Yeah. And you see the severe disease right here by the number 330? And look at what is what these lesions pretty much disappeared, the artery is open. I'm just going to touch it. The laser cleaned up that, that, that cholesterol build up right here and here. Clean it up. The artery is open looking nice. Before and after pictures. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a little balloon, touch it off, make it look more beautiful. And we're done. What about your recovery? You said you were out walking the next day. What was it like for those, say, 24 hours immediately the, following? The, uh, well, of course, they keep you in the hospital overnight. Um, and that is more for the bleeding than anything else. In case you do something that disturbs that thing and it doesn't heal up 
good enough. Uh, but other than that, I had no recovery. I mean, it was just fine. So we're proud to have this technology right in our hands down, downtown in Detroit, Detroit Medical Center. Uh, this is advanced technology that is, that is a saying that you see sometimes in the, in the, and when we go to our conferences, they say it's a good time to be alive, sure. which is the true. If you lived 100 years ago and you have this problem, guess what? Your history soon. Wow. Okay? And nowadays we have this available to us. God bless us with all this. And uh, we have it here available, so let's use it. Let's benefit our patients in here. And uh, hopefully moving forward, when we get this message out to the community, we'll be able to benefit more people that they'll have the luxury and the treatment and, and live happier. This Dr. Gardy, I said, is just great. And the DMC? I think it's just the best place in the world. <laughs> <laughs> To learn more about peripheral angiogram or to schedule an appointment with Dr. Delirgardi, log on to dmc.org or call 888-DMC-2500. I'm Emory King.